We'll now build a character movie clip symbol using vectors created in Adobe Illustrator and imported through CC libraries. The first thing we'll do is to create a new layer for our character by clicking the New Layer button, double clicking on the layer name, and typing in Character. With that layer selected, let's open up our CC Libraries panel. And notice here that we have this Happy Apple piece of vector art created in Adobe Illustrator. Note that this library object is made available to you through the link to save project files at the beginning of this tutorial. So I'm going to select this, click and drag, and drop this on our stage. We can select the artboard. If we want the layers to be converted to bitmap or not, I'm going to keep them all as vector. We don't have any text, so we don't have to worry about text conversion. And we're going to convert our layers to a single animate layer. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And we can now reposition this down on the stage like that. You can see here that even though I placed everything in one specific layer, that it's still composed of multiple pieces of vector artwork, multiple shapes. This will allow us to easily animate these shapes as we create a character movement loop. You'll also notice down here that because this was imported, it renamed our character layer to the identifier through CC libraries. Let's go ahead and rename that once again to character. What we want to do now is to create a movie clip symbol out of all of these shapes. So with my selection tool, I'm going to click and drag a selection rectangle around all the different shapes that we just imported. To create any kind of symbol in Animate CC, we choose Modify, Convert to Symbol. Here we're able to give the symbol a name, so I will call this Character, and we can assign it a specific type. What we're going to use here is a movie clip symbol. And the reason we're doing this is because we actually want this to be a looping animation. His walk cycle, or rather skateboarding cycle, is going to loop independent of our main timeline. Let's hit OK. And we can see that he's now surrounded by this blue outline. And with him selected, you'll notice in the properties panel that this indicates we have a movie clip symbol instance here. An important thing to note is that any movie clip symbols that we have on the stage like this are actually symbol instances, whereas the symbol itself resides up here within the document library. So we can see this character symbol right here is the actual raw symbol. What we have on our stage right here is actually an instance of that symbol. This means that we can change the properties such as position and scale of this instance on the stage, and it won't affect the actual symbol. However, if we double click on an instance, just like this, anything we do now within our character symbol will affect every instance of that character that we are using. In this particular animation, we only have one instance of this symbol, so we don't have to worry too much about it. What we'll do now is to create some additional movie clips out of the different pieces we want to animate. So for instance, let's use the selection tool to click anywhere off of the apple. And now once again, we are dealing with the actual canvas document here. However, if I click on the apple's body, we can see that this is a drawing object. And I can even click on multiples. And the way you do that is hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click additional items. So you can tell right here that we want to select his body, his face, the stem, and the leaf. With all of those selected, we can choose Modify. Once again, Convert to Symbol. This time, we'll simply call this Body, and make sure it's a movie clip symbol, and hit OK. We'll now do the same thing to his various extremities. So let's choose his left arm here, Modify, Convert to Symbol, L arm, We'll do the same for the right arm. Modify, convert to symbol. And for the right leg. And for the left leg, we'll want to choose the leg. But in addition, we need to choose all of these pieces too of the skateboard. And there's actually quite a few pieces here. 
it probably makes more sense to just use a selection rectangle. So using the selection tool, simply click and drag a selection rectangle, which goes around the entire skateboard. And it's okay if it just touches his foot. You don't need to select the entire leg because this is a shape, it will be selected. With all of these objects selected, we can choose modify, convert to symbol. Now you'll notice here that some of the legs and arms appear to be problematic. They're appearing above the character. We can see this where this piece really should be behind. This should be behind the apple body and so forth. What we need to do is deal with the actual visual stacking order of these different objects. Additionally, if we're going to animate these individually, inside of Animate CC, it's best to place every object to be animated on its own specific layer. So let's go ahead and use our selection tool again to drag a selection rectangle around every one of those movie clip symbol instances that we just created. With these selected, we can go up to Modify, Timeline, and choose this option right here, Distribute to Layers. Notice layer one, which previously had all of our objects on it, is now empty. We can tell it's empty because this keyframe right here indicates an unfilled circle. So selecting that layer, we can delete it with this little trash can icon here because we don't need it anymore. You'll notice that similar to other applications like Adobe Photoshop, we have our layers and they have a specific visual stacking order. So for instance, we want the left arm and the left leg to be behind the body. So let's drag the body layer by clicking and dragging. And we drag that up to the middle. But notice now that the right arm doesn't appear in the right place and neither does the left leg. So let's grab the left leg, drag it below the body, and we'll grab the right arm and drag that above the body. So anything at the top of the layer order is going to appear above other elements visually on our stage. Additionally, since we distributed to layers and the objects that we distributed were named movie clip symbols, each one of the layers is named automatically to represent the symbol that's on that layer. Pretty convenient. Let's go ahead and choose File, Save, and we're ready to move on.